when clients or patients with a history of chronic traumatization, such as chronic childhood trauma, neglect and abuse, come uh, into treatment, it's not just that they suffer from re-experiences of their trauma. They have not learned to trust intimate relationships, relationships with caretakers. Thus, for them, going into therapy and develop a relationship as a therapist is already a major obstacle. It's, it's reminds, it's also triggering of relationship in the past with caretakers like parents or teachers or previous therapists that eventually led to more abuse, uh, neglect and punishment or abandonment. So that's there in the first place. Then the therapist is also confronted with a host of symptoms that are attempts of the patient or client to cope with his or her trauma history but that might be for the, the therapist quite extreme, such as self-harm, cutting, eating disorders, and even uh, repeated suicide attempts. Those are all symptoms or, or phenomena that challenge the, the, the therapist's uh, coping ability to stay present and be really helpful instead of being defensive. And then I would say there is a hidden difficulty in that complex traumatized individuals have different parts of their personality that keep the trauma and that might be reactivated in the therapeutic situation and if the therapist does not recognize these various parts and is not directly or indirectly engaging them in therapy he or she will not go very far in, in helping mm -hmm. the patient to recover.